Yo, yo, what it do, what it do. Welcome back to the Suzuka 7. This is part four. We are at Mount Gozai Show, home of the famous ropeway. I'm glad that you joined me today. You're going to learn about everything you need to know to hype Gozai Show the best that you can do it. Stick around to the end. Check out the All Trails map and some tips that will help you enjoy the mountain better. If that sounds good to you, please remember to hit a subscribe button, hit a like, share with a friend, bell notifications. Without further ado, enjoy.
right, hi, welcome to the second part of the video. I'm gonna break down what happened and what you saw so that you're able to uh, use it to however advantage you need. Maybe it helps you do Mount Gozai show a little bit better, but I hope you enjoyed the shots so far and some of the things um, along the way to the top of Mount Gozai show. Let's take a look at the all trails map here. So again, you know where we are. We're in the main island of Japan next to Nagoya. I took the Meitetsu bus to Yunoyama Onsen station right here and began my hike. As you can see, there's just one leg because I took the ropeway. Uh, the longest ropeway of Japan is located here, it, here at Mount Gozai show. Most people take the left routes, or the I guess the middle ones here. Um, those are the most common. I've done those a few times, and they're great. They're kind of difficult um, for beginners. So this one, this Uramichi Trail, which literally means the backside road, goes all the way around and comes back. It's actually a more direct route to the top, and uh, is a really enjoyable hike. It wasn't as rocky as some of the uh, more popular trails are, so. You're able to get more greens you're going up you're going up a a creek and kind of a ravine for the whole time so there's a lot of water i didn't even bring any water because you can just fill up in the river if you're okay with that i have a little <clears throat> sawyer squeeze filter so take advantage of that if you've got the gear uh speaking of gear again this was a another 1211 meter mountain so factor that in if you're watching the other videos it's been kind of the same equipment the whole way up i got my trail runners on um, pants today for it, this was the first time that it rained um, i've been lucky on the first three parts of the series and so this was the first time that it actually rained and um, luckily I, I planned for it obviously so bring a rain jacket <clears throat> at the top of these mountains um, it's easy to have a sudden flash of rain that's why there wasn't any drone footage this time around because it was a little bit too dangerous. I thought it might uh, you know, have some trouble flying around in the rain. But the total hiking time for this one was just about four hours, um, including all of my breaks to stop and get some footage or take a, take a rest as you saw in the video. Um, but overall, you know, this is another one of those must do mountains of Japan. Mount Gozai Show is famous for its ropeway. Um, and then there's actually two, there's like a ski lift that brings you to the actual top of the mountain, the peak of the mountain. The first ropeway is not the actual peak, so you'll need to get on a second one, a second chairlift, or you can just go ahead and walk your ass up there. But it's beautiful, it's a ski resort during the winter time when there's snow, obviously, and so um, it's not difficult as you can see, it's not too sloped, but there are some um, just fun little bunny hills to get out there and kind of just enjoy the top of the mountain. There's a restaurant up there as well. A um, little gift shop for souvenirs, toys for the kids. Um, and it's a really family fun kind of place. Here's a few tips for you. I think that um, if I were to do this mountain again, I took the bus out there, the Meitetsu bus. So I've been renting cars recently and this one was actually uh, departed at 8.10 in the morning, so I was able to get to the mountain around 9.45, so I was actually able to start the, mount, the, the hiking a little bit earlier than usual. If I'm, if I'm taking a car, it's usually like 9, start at 9 and arrive around like 11 o'clock, you know, because I'm a bad driver or whatever, I don't know. Slow driver, safe driver, that's what it is. And um, so I had some extra time. I think that if I did it again, I would take a little bit less time shooting so that I could also take the like hike down rather than take the ropeway down kind of uh, wussed out there but it was a nice it was a nice hike things were really wet um, so I don't know if you want to bring some waterproof pants that might be a good idea I just wore my regular pants and it seemed to be fine um, it's not hot because there's a lot of like mist <clears throat> and fog that comes through in and out of the valley so something like a light windbreaker like i had that black one there um or if you didn't want to go rain jacket you could do just a, a light layer a thin layer i think would be just fine as for the navigation through the trail i used all maps as you can see i still got lost a little bit on the rocks there are red arrows or red circles that will indicate the
this is the way that the path goes this is the way turn left turn right um, but it was still a little bit easy to get lost as some of those have faded out and so uh, keep your keep an eye on it if you start to if you feel like you're following the ravine for too long and not seeing any red signs it means you're lost so uh, you know turn around or try to re-navigate yourself back to the uh, main trail today obviously with uh, COVID people aren't going out I mean it was raining so I didn't see I saw one person on the trail at the very beginning he was one of those uh, trail runner guys so he just had one of those camel packs on and that's it I'm sure he was up and down before I even got up uh, when I got to the top of the mountain it was employees only uh, there were a few people that were there for sightseeing which is weird because it was foggy and you couldn't see anything so what are you doing all right what's the game plan here uh, there were older people though so they just needed something to do and the ropeway is enough of an attraction of an attraction to just get out there and go have some fun so take it there i think there's three routes that you can take uramichi is my favorite one so far the two major ones i believe it's number five uh that'll be where some of those more like climbing kind of things more rocks uh uramichi has a little more wood it's a little more wooded and it also runs up and down the stream so there's more water as well so balance those whatever you want to do that's what you got there's choices there's options it's easily accessible by train by bus by car you can get there anyway by camel even if you've got one handy um, but please take advantage of this it's not going anywhere but it is a lot of fun get out there for skiing get out there for hiking i hope that the video encouraged you to get out to mount gozai show and have some fun on the mountain check out the other videos for the suzuka 7 this was part four and so i uh, hope that you're enjoying these and that you're getting some benefit from watching them so as for now Thank you very much. Peace.